All right, we have the uh, GoPro Hero 2 here, and we just got the new uh, Wi-Fi back software upgraded, and now we can control it with the, uh, the iPad app or iPhone app. I think the Android app is coming soon. Um, right now, we are using the standard traditional codec and, um, and just the standard uh, recording rate that you normally get with the, the GoPro, and with that, we can actually monitor live recording. Now, there is a bit of a lag, as you can see, <laughs> lag, <coughs> lag, and lag. Uh, but we can monitor it, and we can use this for uh, placing, you know, the camera basically in a certain awkward position that you wouldn't be able to normally see, and making sure that it's exactly the way that you want it. This is really, really convenient. Now, there's also a new feature uh, in GoPro called ProTune. Uh, GoPro worked with Cineform, and we had a chance to see this at NAB, uh, basically increasing the dynamic range of the GoPro and making it uh, a lot better for uh, more professional uses. The one issue is you cannot um, record or you can't preview it. We discovered that when you try to hit record, it, the preview disappears. So it is a better codec and probably because of the higher bit rate that it's recording to that doesn't transfer. But let's go ahead and transfer over to Pro Tunes. You can see the difference of it. All right, so now we have Pro Tune enabled and as you can see, uh, on my iPad, the preview is no longer supported, so that is the downside. Uh, but it is a much flatter picture profile. Uh, so, you know, more details in the shadows, uh, more details in the highlights. Uh, now, because the GoPro is, you know, the kind of sensor that it is, um, the areas like in our, the black area here, you're going to see a lot more noise. Um, so when it's bumping up that information to try and get a flatter picture profile, traditionally you get noisier in the shadow area. So we're in a very dimly lit scenario. Let's go ahead and step outside and compare uh, regular versus Pro Tune and see how that looks there. All right, now we're outside. This is an overcast day, um, so as you can see, there's no bright sunlight coming on me. But you can see, you know, the detail in the sky. You can see the detail in the shadows underneath the van over there. And so now you can make a judgment call. This is without Pro Tune. This is the standard codec again. So let's jump over to Pro Tune and see what the difference is. All right, we got Pro Tune enabled again. Here, and that's going to be kind of the limitation of the 